Hey guys, Deb the Awesome here to give you a bit of a review on the latest breeding event, the Flash breeding event uh, that incorporates Barbatos and Gorin in order to get uh, some really, de really, 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 I was about to say decent, but no, that's that's not the right <laughs> word for it, really good <laughs> I hit my toast up. <laughs> uh, I just put in toast. I completely forgot we're making this video. But anywho, uh, these are really, really good supports right now in the current meta of the game. And I'm going to be going over each one. Um, there's also a chance to actually get the breeding monsters too. Uh, and, and that's actually not bad either. Gorn's really good in Cryotan scenarios, or like, I, I think it's a hard counter to Cryotan, simply due to the fact he can, not only is he immune to his, you know, Mega Freeze play, he's able to remove, you know, negative effects and give a 75% shield to any target he wishes. Uh, so let's say in the event, you know, he does Iroba on your damage dealer, you can just claim that, and now your attacker has a 75% shield. Uh... He also has really nice utility. I think he has the best self heal in the game, which is a he, d he does an AOE damage skill, and each person he hits, he actually gets thirty percent of his life back. Theoretically speaking, he can have up to ninety percent uh, of his life back if all the enemies are out. If he hits every single person, or well, he doesn't even need to hit them, and like it just depends on when you use the skill. I think. Or it could be when you hit him. I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I used the skill myself. Uh, but it, it, it is a really good heal. It does it does up to 90% healing. It's a phenomenal self-healing skill. Will it work against these Coral Brutalis fights in high tier play? No, but it, it really is a nice monster in the case of the event they don't run it. And it's kind of a situation where they're reliant on Mega Freeze to kill you. Barbatos, uh, I, I haven't even gotten into the, the main breeding event monsters, but I, I'm just kind of going over the, 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 you know, the breeding monsters themselves, uh, because there is a chance to actually get them during the breeding event. I did actually wind up getting a Gorin. Uh, Barbatos here has the highest single target damage, uh, due to the fact he owns a 90 damage dark base skill, and he can do, uh, double damage to himself, which is extraordinarily strong it, it is really good like it is astronomically strong how much damage uh he can do dark damage is also kind of valuable right now because every defense is running core of brutalis to just completely annihilate brutalis with that skill is really good it, it's it's just a good clearing uh sadly i only have him at 100 but uh for those that have actually took the time to rank barbatos up it is well worth your time because he does a lot of, a lot a lot of damage especially natural damage like he does super effective damage to Korra. Korra is one of the better defense monsters in the game at the time of recording this video it's just meta at the moment uh it's it's hard to do focus work when he's on the field and this guy pretty much removes him like that like it's it's like paper to you know br you know barbatos to coral brutalis it, it doesn't really matter if he's on the field because he, he'll kill it he, he, coral will kills pretty no no uh Barbatos kills pretty much any earth monster in the game, uh, given their, if you meet the damage conditions, they have enough damage runes on, uh, for sure, you, you'll just do so much damage because of that 90 base damage skill, that's an ult damage base skill, that's, that's insane, it's a, it's a basic skill too, it's crazy. Uh, but now we're getting to, let's get to the actual breeding monsters, uh, so let's go with Living Forest first. So Living Forest is okay. So when he like during the time he came out, uh, like he it wasn't really. I mean, he's really good. Like he, he was really good to begin with. He was a really good healer. But there really wasn't much of a point because buffs weren't such a huge thing. Or like like buffs and debuffs. When he came out, he was in a meta where buffs and debuffs weren't too rampant. Like they weren't too constant. Uh, this, this guy's really good now. This guy's, like, his support's really, really good. Because he also works well with the recent tanks we got. We got, like, you know, Coro Brutalis, and we got a really, really strong dark tank called Dunra, who neither of them have any healing whatsoever. They have no healing. This is probably, Living Force has one of the best healing skills in the game, in my personal opinion. It's, it's one of the better ones. Uh, it is a AoE, remove all negative status effects, and heals by 30%. Uh, I think the major problem with this, uh, just the skill alone, is the fact it he does healing before removing positive negative effects, I mean. Uh, which is huge because it means reverse healing can kill you. <laughs> or you do 30 damage to yourself just to remove that reverse healing, which is bad. 
I don't remember if he... Let me see here real quick. Does he actually have a... Oh, he actually has the skill mirror. Okay, so the skill mirror can actually remove... Uh, well, not healing, so that's actually good. Oh, it actually removes before healing, dude. Okay, so that's really good. He does have a skill that does that. Uh, I have I have the skill, and I'm going to remove that. Change it for that. Uh, but yeah, beyond the one-turn cooldown, really good healing. Uh, that does really good support for Coral and Dunra. He has a, an AoE skill that does a weakness for, like, earth, water, and nature. Obviously, this does no good to Dunra's case, but does a lot of good for Coral Brutalis due to his low cooldowns and, you know, just m mediocre damage. With this, it actually increases his passive damage by quite a bit, especially if you're on Rainbow Build Coral Brutalis. I will say Rainbow Rune Coral Brutalis, you know, benefits this a lot. He, he, he does like the, the, the damage increase. It is nice to do super effective damage all the time, and it's really good. Another reason why he's really good, he has a AoE uh, poison skill that also removes uh, all negative effects. Is this a high stamina cost? Yes. Is this a problem? No, because he can actually hold a supercharged amulet, which is really, really good. Because supercharged amulet lets you have more max stamina. It's basically a stamina, you know, rune. It, like, supercharged amulet is basically your stamina rune. It's amazing. It's really good. It pretty much means you don't have to run a stamina relic. And uh, the skill mirror, like this skill mirror skill is really good uh, because it uh, removes, uh, you know, negative effects. As long as you're not fighting a possession heavy comp, uh, you're really good. You are, you are just solid. It, it's just fine because it also heals you and it does, it does so many good things. Uh, the other monster, I, I, am I done talking about this actually? <laughs> is there anything else to really talk about? Uh, now I guess before I talk talk about Granui, I got I guess I gotta say, well, Dib, you're not really running any damage. You're like it's looking at you know if you if you look at the Coral Dunra and Living Forest comp, you're you're not really running any damage. That's fine. That that's fine if you're not because this is more so a DOT meta, and you can keep your Dunra alive with your healing skills. And that's the, your Gidunra and your Coral Brutality. So you have so many, like, you know, your cooldown, your AoE heal is on a low, low cooldown. One turn cooldown, amazing. And you can just do so much. You can just keep them alive forever. It's amazing. Yeah, all you have to do really is run, like, maybe, like, maybe either full speed, uh, just to make sure you constantly keep up with turn order, or, like, uh, life and two speeds, and you'll just tank everything. It's, it's just awesome. Uh, he also holds a armor relic, so you can uh, run heavy duty armor. Make him really tanky, and you pretty much win with DOT and passive damage. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, the other monster I want to talk about is the monster Kranui, who is also a phenomenal support. I, I, like the, I like both of these supports. I think both of them are really, really good if you take the time to rank them up and pair them up with, uh, you know, Living you know living Force works well with, you know, tank the tanks at the moment, the big meta tanks. Uh, you basically, you live forever without ever having to worry of dying. It's, it's really, really good. The other monster that's a really good support right now is Granui. Now, why do I say this? One, he has an AoE remove positive effects that's water based, so you're good and naturally good against really good fire monsters at the moment, like Kane. <laughs> uh, and the other thing that keeps him really good is the absolute protection buff, which is it gives immunity to all, you know, it stays to all allies, and it gives a really, really strong protection buff. That means. Uh, you don't take any damage at all from all enemies' attacks, except for special damage for one turn. It also removes any negative effects, so it's an AoE clean too, which is also good. It's, it's also an AoE cleaner, uh, which is awesome. Uh, the reason why this buff is so good is due to the fact we have a War Master right now called Remtar. Remtar's passive states that you don't take any special damage whatsoever as long as he is on the field. As long as he's alive, uh, the, you know, the trait stays on there. It's, it's basically the AoE trait that he got, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, because that means you cannot take any damage whatsoever, like at all, uh, which is huge. You can't take any damage unless they remove your special damage only buff. They, they can't do any damage. You're, you're blocking all the elemental based damage, which they have to use to kill you. Which I think is huge. <laughs> you know, pair this up with a you no know, Granui up with a Remtar. I, I think high ranking Remtar and a Granui would be a really strong team. 
Because again, you, you're immune to all damage, you have skill mirror up, you can remove all negative effects. Uh, I think the only thing Grenui actually is missing is an AoE immunity, control immunity. Like, that's the only thing he's missing. Uh, he also has a double DOT skill, uh, ancient power, you know, except not ancient power, except my power. <laughs> that's ain't Pokemon, Deb. Uh, but it does two DOTs at once. He also has a spammable double DOTs. Double DOTs are really, really good right now in the meta. You might not even have to run the My Allies Will Rise if you do wind up running that Remtar Dunra comp. You don't you don't really have to. Uh, but with this, you can I mean like you can run the spam the skill and you know spread your DOTs. But it's it's a really good way of getting things done because in this meta, you, you just DOTs just win. Uh, it's really really good. It's phenomenally good. Uh, he has quite a few other support options, like this, a single target uh, legendary only damage skill uh, on a single target basis. Uh, he has a spammable AoE that can proc poison. Uh, for some reason, this says double poison. I don't know if it just applies poison twice. That's something worth testing out at some point, but it says it does poison and burning, but it's just double poison. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't really look at that. But, uh, no double chance for poison. But, uh, yeah. That's that's in terms of the, that's right. It's uh, it also it can hold a trap and a potion, you know, an essence relic, which means you can do an AOE healing relic, which is nice. Doesn't do this thing doesn't really do all like any healing at all. It's more so damage prevention, which is good because you know taking damage at all, and you know at some point even when you do take damage, your essence will proc, which is nice. And again, he's just really good at cl cleaning. Uh, his, my allies will rise as an AoE double damage and precision buff. Really, really nice, really decent, really good. Uh, and that's about it for those monsters. Uh, overall, I think these monsters are really good. Uh, now what I say, what I say, like, buy a $50 base and invest heavily in this event, though. No. Obviously, I wouldn't say that, but at least, at least attempt it. If you do have the monsters, at least try because another thing too is even if you get like a let's say you get an epic you don't want you actually can just junk that now for elemental cells which is awesome you can now just junk them for uh you know random cells based on the epic you get let's say for example i got like well for example i got owl long owl long does me no good what i'll actually do with that owl long i'll just feed it to the point uh you know max it out and then just decompose it for 14 fire cells or, you know, earth cells, it's random. So I get either or, and it goes progress towards my next, you know, legendary monster. I think that's really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I, I think I've just about explained the extent of these monsters. Uh, now, in a normal sense, do these healers work without Dunra and Coral? Uh, they can, but they're not as strong. Like, they, they are really, really strong with Coral and, like, like team up with Dunra and Coral. They're, they're really good. Even if it's a lower level Living Forest. Like, I, I have my Living Forest at 105, and we actually playtested on a stream. It was really good. If it's rank any, if, if it was rank any higher, it, it'd be really nice. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's really good. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Dib the Awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.